Hey, it's Caitlin. Okay, Scott. So a few weeks ago, I found this clock frame cluster at a thrift store and then I gave it a makeover. As soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to fill the frames with original paintings of people all reacting to the time on the clock in the center in different ways. I haven't shared a painting video in a while, so I hope you enjoy this. I wanted to go with a woke up late reaction for this one. So I found a reference that I liked on Pinterest. I sketched it out and belatedly figured out which frame to put it in. This was definitely a learning experience as far as planning goes. And the next ones will be less spontaneous for sure. As I'm getting back into daily practice after my move, I've been drawn back to watercolor, which is my favorite medium. And I love painting portraits in watercolor. I love building the skin tone from layering the primary colors. I love painting with a limited palette. And that's, those are things that I learned from a Domestica course I took um, by R.T. Broad. Broad? Artie Brown? Brown. I don't remember how to speak his name, but I will link his course in the description. Um, I used four pigments for this painting. Yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, rose matter, which is a kind of pink, red, and burnt umber. The process of painting this portrait was so relaxed. Um, I felt so comfortable and confident and that voice of perfection in my head was quieted by the fact that I have a process. Yes, I have a consistent approach to painting a watercolor portrait. I'll sketch the reference and then I'll trace it onto watercolor paper and layer the pigments, starting with the blue. I felt the process was enjoyable, even joyful. <laughs> um, and I really needed that because lately I have been really tired from burning the candle at both ends, being pregnant, and a stay-at-home mom and really also trying to put in a full-time job's worth of work into my art and this channel. I <laughs> honestly I really identify with this character that I've created in this portrait. I definitely feel this way in the morning like I don't set an alarm to wake up because I sleep uh, every second I can and Ava wakes me up on the baby monitor but every time every morning I wake up and I'm like oh god it's time to get up already oh I just felt like I fell asleep just now like seriously and because I've been so tired lately, I have been experiencing some vulnerabilities that don't usually get to me. What I wanted to talk about, other than the painting, was that I follow lots of artists on social media. Um, a lot of the artists I follow are younger than I am by at least 10 years. And a lot of them are, you know, working full time on their art, whether or not they have a day job, they are still able to devote a full time job's worth of time every week to their passion. And to be honest with you, I get jealous whenever I see 
how free they are to work <laughs> without interruption from, you know, an outside source. You know, of course, all, all people are their own worst enemy, so we find our own distractions, but I, I look at them being young and childless and able to work on what they want to work on on a daily basis, and I'm jealous. They are at their leisure, and they don't experience any parental guilt or feel like they're shirking their responsibilities, and that's not the case when I get creative a lot of the time. Even though I say to myself not to be that way. Still, sometimes things come through, those thoughts come through, and you don't just ignore them, you pay attention to them. I've said so many times in therapy sessions that I feel like I'm juggling all these different roles, juggling all the different things I'm mostly just assigning myself to do every day, and I feel like I'm always dropping a ball every day or even every moment. The balls are getting dropped, and because I am a perfectionist, that makes the feeling of effing up, dropping the ball, feel more like dying more like an emergency and less like just the way that things are because I have a lot going on in my life. <laughs> um, but you know, the reality is that at any given moment in my day, I am doing literally all I can do. I have told my husband and my therapist, you know, I am not operating at 100% right now. I'm six months pregnant. I'm tired. I'm starting to feel tired again. Um, if you've ever been pregnant, then you know what I'm talking about. But you get this kind of like reprieve in the middle of your pregnancy where you have energy again and then your energy levels take a dip again when you start to get really big and um, things are just, you know, harder because you are heavier and bigger and like your body is off balance and it's just, everything is harder. <laughs> like literally picking up trash off the floor is harder, picking up toys. Um, all your daily tasks are harder just simply because of the physical fact of being pregnant. But anyway, like I said, any given moment, I can be found doing quite literally all I can do. Um, and sometimes all I can do is just lay down on the couch while Ava is playing or napping or whatever. And um, yeah, that's obviously not me working towards my goals. <laughs> um, and that feels frustrating sometimes, but that is the reality of the situation. And I am doing my best to accept that. Because I don't want to be doing anything else. I chose to be a stay-at-home mom. And I chose to focus on art. I chose to create this channel. And I love doing all of those things. And doing all of those things every day is still hard. Even though I love doing them and I'm passionate about doing them. And that's where the grace comes in. Giving myself permission to feel the way I feel. And also giving myself a break. <laughs> like not pushing through like I would pre-children is a big thing I have to do now. I can't push through exhaustion. I can't push past needing rest because the truth is that like my body is doing this incredibly difficult and taxing thing when I'm asleep, you know? <laughs> like I could be doing nothing and I'm still, my body is working really hard. So it makes sense if you're feeling this way. I hope that 
you hear this and you know that it's okay to like just relax. Everything you want to get done in a day doesn't have to get done. And most days we set unrealistic expectations, or at least I do. So if you're struggling with something similar, just know that you can both have chosen to do the thing and find doing it difficult and wish it was easier without beating yourself up. I'm trying not to make myself feel bad about finding my work as a primary caregiver to a toddler and the house manager and a full-time working artist and content creator difficult. Um, and instead to just acknowledge the difficulty and then work through it. Because the difficulty is not going away. And like the guy in my painting, I get to be a bit of a mess and a tired one at that. But I'm still getting up every day and doing the work. And it's worth the effort to me. So I hope you find the same for yourself today. I'll see you next week. Keep going. You can do it.